Leave the keys. You still do that thing? Leave the keys. <sighs> well, I also get fired up to that song. Welcome to Flynn Dog Woodwork. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at a Kickstarter that I think is gonna blow a lot of people's mind. This is an amazing technological tool that I've never seen before. So let's not waste any more time and start talking about this item. So if you know me, you know that I'm a gadget freak. So anytime I'm given the opportunity to check out a new technological tool, I can't pass up that opportunity. And this tool is so advanced that it's not even available to the public yet. In fact, it's still in development. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to take a look at this tool to see what's coming in the future for woodworking tools. And for transparency, this tool was gifted to me, but there was no other compensation involved. So I'm gonna give you my unbiased opinion on how this tool functions and where we can use it in our shop. So what is this tool? Well, that's a great question, and it's in this little box. This is made by a company called M-Cube, and this is a modular laser measurement tool. So let's dig into this box and see what comes with it. So inside this very nice carrying case, you can see the tool itself. It comes with four modules as well as a tripod. Now it's the modules of this item that really make this tool unique, as each one of those modules has its own functions. Therefore, by having four modules, the functionality is quadrupled. Four? That's insane. And frankly, I was blown away by the versatility of this product when I was learning how to use it. So let's take a look at our first module and start to talk about some of the functionality. The first module is the smallest one, and this is the main module for the tool. To fire it up, you simply press the power button on the right hand side. Now first off, you can see that it's got a really bright, easy to read color screen that allows you to scroll through the menus. And the nice thing about this screen is that it's a touch screen. This allows you to scroll through the menu items just with a swipe of your finger. Swipe, 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 swipe. Which is nice because typically with tools like this, you're having to scroll through the menu items with the buttons on the side. Speaking of those buttons on the side, let's take a look at the physical construction of this tool. We already discussed the power button, but there's also a registration button. This allows you to turn the laser on and off as well as to get your measurements. If we look at the bottom of the tool, you can see it has a USB-C port. This allows you to charge all of your modules. Now, what can this tiny little module that you can fit in your pocket do by itself? Well, let's go take a look at it. There's basically two main functions. If I place the tool so the laser's shining on the board in front, I can click the side button and get that measurement exactly. And just like with any other laser distance meter, you can have the measurement register from the front of the tool or the back of the tool simply by clicking this yellow button on the left hand side. The second feature of the main module has everything to do with calculating the minimum and maximum measurements of any distance. By clicking the min max button, you can get the minimum and maximum measurements between any two points. In this case, a minimum of 9 inches 29 30 seconds and a maximum of 10 inches 7 30 seconds. Now that we've gone over some of the basic features of the first module, now let's talk about some of the more advanced modes. So here are three of the advanced features. The first feature is the area feature. This allows you to calculate the length and the width to give you the total area. If we look at the secondary feature, this allows you to continuously add up all your measurements to give you one total length. Finally is the volume measurement. This will allow you to take the width, the height, and the length to give you the cubic area. And those features are pretty common with most laser distance meters. However, remember we're dealing with an object that's smaller than a tape measure. But not only does this tool have those basic calculations, but it also has the Pythagorean calculations as well. Please continue with the Pythagorean theorem. So you're able to calculate the height of a wall from measuring from a point to the wall, and then that same point to the ceiling. You can also measure the height of any object by measuring from the bottom of the object to the top of the object. And if you want to measure the horizontal length of a ceiling, you can do so by measuring from a point on the ground to the ceiling to the corner where the ceiling ends. Uh. <laughs> so quite a few basic features on this pocket-sized laser distance meter. Now let's talk about how you can customize this tool to fit your needs. If you click on the very top of the tool, you can change the measurements from millimeters, 
to centimeters, to meters, to inches, to inches with fractions, and then back to millimeters. And if you're visually impaired like me, you can also change the font on the measurements. Not only that, but you can rotate the display so that you can see it from wherever you're standing. Well, that's enough about the first module. Now let's take a look at the second module, which takes this tool to the next level. So the next module of this tool instantly turns this into a bilateral laser distance meter. Now you may have noticed when we put these two pieces together, there was an audible click, and that's because the two pieces are held together not only with clips, but also a magnet. Giant magnet? Giant magnet. If we take a look at the second module, you can see there's a physical level, and this is great because it will help you make sure that your measurements are straight. If we look at the end of the tool, you can see the second laser distance meter. You can also see some green crosshairs, which we'll talk about in just a moment. Now let's quickly go over some of the measurements you can do with a bilateral laser distance meter. So when you attach the bilateral laser distance meter module to the original module, the tool will automatically switch to the bilateral laser function. And once that module's attached, you can see there's a laser shooting out from either side of the tool. And this functions just like any other bilateral laser distance meter. If you point the lasers at two walls and press the gray button, it will give you your measurement. In this case, approximately 39 feet and four inches. But there's also another feature to this tool that I haven't seen in any other item. And that is an auto calibration feature, which is this little button right here. The auto calibration feature is a digital gyroscope, and this allows you to calculate the distance between two points without being entirely accurate. So when I take my tool and I press the auto calibration feature, you can see that I can adjust the angle up and down and that measurement isn't changing very much. And that's because the tool is incorporating its internal level to make sure your measurements are entirely horizontal, which is a pretty nice feature if you have some shaky hands or you just can't hold that position completely horizontal. So that's a pretty nice feature, but in my opinion, that's not the coolest feature with this module. So we already talked about how this tool has an internal level, but let's dig into this just a little bit deeper. So the nice thing about having a digital level is you have all your X, Y, and Z axes in one place. So you can easily see if you're perfectly flat on your X axis, your Y axis, and even your Z axis. And I really think it's nice to have those visual cues on this tool as opposed to just seeing the degrees. But that's not the most impressive thing about this module. Remember when I was talking about those green crosshairs? Yeesh. Once we're in the level mode, we can press this little button on the corner, and this will automatically give us our green crosshairs for lining things up like framing, cabinets, and pictures. And this is also where that tripod comes into play, as you can use those internal levels to make sure you're completely flat, both horizontal and vertical. So that's a pretty cool little module. Not only are you getting a bilateral laser distance meter, but you're also getting a 3D laser level. Now that we've taken a look at our first two modules, let's start to talk about our third. But before we do that, I ask you to do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, leave a like and leave a comment. It really does help out this small woodworking channel. Now let's move on to our third module. So if we pull out our third module and attach it to our main module, you can see it clicks together just like our second module did with those clips and the magnet. Now this module is called the Scale Ruler Module, and this module has got a little bit of a unique design. Let's take a closer look. If we take a look at the physical structure of this module, you can see that it has a little rubber wheel on the bottom left-hand corner. It also has two buttons on the top and one button on the side. This gray button on the top and the button on the side will turn on a laser, and the top black button is used to clear the data. So how does this work? Well, the first function of it is essentially a digital tape measure. So let's select Scale Ruler from the menu and then select this top icon. Once we've selected the appropriate menu item, we can press this black button on the side. This will initiate a laser crosshair that will allow us to line up our measurement from one point to another. In this case, we have a measurement of six inches and 25 30 seconds of an inch. And the nice thing about the laser on this module is it has both an X and Y axis. This allows you to follow a line if accuracy is key. So you can line up both crosshairs to take a more accurate measurement. Now a lot of times you may need to take a measurement all the way up to a corner or a butt joint. 
And this can be done by pressing the yellow button in the corner. This will add the width of the tool to your measurement so you can get the total distance. Therefore, you don't have to worry about adding the width of your tool. The second function of this module is something that I probably won't use as a woodworker, but if you're a project manager, an architect, or anyone that works with maps, this could be a game changer. Mapping, 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 mapping. So this function has everything to do with ratios. In this instance, one inch will equal a mile. So if you're trying to measure the distance on a map, you can assume that one inch will equal a mile. And there's a ton of different ratios you can use, both for imperial and metric. You can go from one inch equaling two inches all the way up to one inch equaling 24 miles. So if you have some plans that don't have the exact measurements or you have a map that doesn't have the distances, you can ballpark it with this tool. Fine, a ballpark figure. So you can avoid all those calculations and get a fairly accurate measurement. And there's more functions to come with this module as it's still in development, but as of right now, those are the two main functions. So let's move on and take a look at our fourth and final module. So if we take a look at the last module, you can see that it almost looks like a video game controller, complete with two buttons. Let's attach it to the first module and I'll show you what it does. So this module is called the Smart Planner Module, and this thing goes way beyond anything that you'll need for woodworking. However, I did want to show you how this thing works. This item is primarily used for mapping out floor plans, so it may be ideal for a home builder or a project manager. Essentially, the way this works is it allows you to draw out the floor plan of any room or any enclosure. So let's take a look at what this tool looks like once the module is attached. So when we attach the module to the base, you can see that there's four menu items. The top left-hand corner is the enclosure button. This allows you to connect your starting point to your ending point without having to take a measurement. And this little feature is nice. It saves one last step and allows you to close off your room without having to take that last measurement. If we look at the top right-hand corner, you can see there's the auto calibration button. The auto calibration button allows you to have the tool off by 30 degrees one way or another and still maintain that horizontal measurement. The yellow button in the bottom left hand corner is the registration button. As you can see as it stands right now, this tool is measuring from the very bottom of the tool. But if we press it again, we can get it to register from the very center of the tool, which refers to this button on the very back. If you look at the line on the side of the tool, this is where it will measure from. And this feature is really nice when you're dealing with pillars. You can cradle the pillar and push it forward and it will take the measurement from the very corner of that pillar. Lastly, you may be asking, what's the joystick for? Well, let's do a real life measurement of my garage and I'll show you how to use it. So I'll first take a measurement of my first wall. So here you can see my first measurement is almost exactly at 40 feet. Now I want to take my second measurement, which is at a 90 degree angle. So I'll simply take the joystick until it reaches 90 degrees. Now that I have my tool registered at 90 degrees, I can go ahead and take my second measurement. Now you can see I have my first two walls drawn, but let's say you have an angle that's not exactly 90 degrees. Well, this tool can accommodate it. If you switch over to the side of the tool, you can see there's a little button here. If you flip it to the orange circle, you can accommodate any degree angle from zero to 360 degrees. But since my garage doesn't have any weird angles, we're gonna keep this at 90 degrees. So I'm gonna continue on and map out the rest of my garage. And here's a perfect example of where I'd wanna use that center button right on this corner. So here you can see a very rough outline of my garage. Now the cool thing about this is you can actually transfer this to your phone. Let me show you how to do that. So the first thing that you need to do is to download an app called Miser, and this connects via Bluetooth your m to your phone. Once you have your drawing, you simply swipe to the right and you click download. And this will automatically transfer your file to your phone. Once you have the data transferred to your phone, you can really see how this comes to life. You can see the model that we just created and you can even make it in 3D. So you could really build out an entire house with this tool, which is pretty amazing in my book. Well, that covers our fourth and final module. I really hope you enjoyed checking out this amazing tool. 
Now this tool is obviously still in development and isn't available to the public, but for this channel I always think it's important to check out some of the most futuristic tools to see what's coming up next. Well thanks for joining me today on checking out this Kickstarter M-Cube. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like and leave a comment. It really does help out this small woodworking channel. Until next time, take care as always.